Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. <clears throat> Looking for my dad. He's uh, about this high with dark hair. Maybe you've seen him? My God, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? You're lying. The vault's been sealed for 200 years. <laughs> God in heaven, would you listen to yourself? Do you honestly believe that's true? The lies they've put into that head of yours. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well. You stayed in my saloon, after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mum. Truly. But no matter. That big round door is open now, hasn't it? Daddy's gone, and you need to know why. Could be I know where and why. My dad told me we were born in Vault 101. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella, escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? <laughs> oh, oh, kid. Uh, I'll let that one go. Chalk it up to youthful arrogance. Listen carefully. I don't know what Shatter Sims told you, but this is my town. Sims, he's a facade. An illusion of order I allow to exist. I was slinging drinks and killing raiders here in Megaton when the good Sheriff was just an idiot kid with cowboy fantasies. Raise a hand to me and you'll never leave this town alive. Now, as for your dad... A hundred caps and I sing. All right, Moriarty. Here's a hundred caps. Now, where's my dad? Excellent. Your dad raised a smart kid. Really no substitute for the love of a father, now is there? Speaking of dear old dad, he went southeast into D.C. to the Galaxy News radio station. Uh, good luck now. Welcome to Moriarty's Saloon. What do you need? Don't look at me like that. Yeah? You need something? A traveler, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? Maybe. Who wants to know? 
I do. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? I need some details before I can decide. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Uh, job usually means I get paid. Actually, I, I don't have any caps with me. I used everything I had buying a shack in this town. But if you'd be nice enough to help me, I bet my father would pay you something for all the trip. What do you say? Sure. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Can you give me some uh, information about uh, Arafu? Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Um, is there anything dangerous around there I should know about? What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this oh. was easy, I'd go myself, you know. Right. Who else lives in Arthur? Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family, and a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. Um, you suspect your family's in danger? No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Where is Arafu? Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Okay. Um, what's the word around town? I couldn't tell you, really. I'd talk to Manya if you care that much. She's lived in Megaton longer than anyone. Okay, see you around. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. My, my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. I'm, uh, intrigued. Uh, please continue. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. Um. I'm listening. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge, constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid. Handsomely. What do you say?
Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. I think Sims I disarm me as an extra cat to change my mind. Is that the best you can do? I'm afraid I'm not impressed. If I help you, what's in it for me? You mean, besides doing the world a favor by removing this pestilent scab of a town? Why, you'd be rewarded most handsomely. My employer is a very generous man. If it's bottle caps and luxury you're seeking, you shall have it. Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Ten Penny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Assuming that bomb seems pretty technical, what if I can't do it? Lack the aptitude, you mean. You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have something to help you concentrate. He's got a bit of a reputation. Uh-huh. We're talking a lot of innocent lives here. Can I warn them? Absolutely not. The place, the people, they're one and the same. Sacrifices for a nobler future. I assure you, they're worth ten times as much in death as they are in life. Okay, time for me to go. Don't let me keep you. Hello. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. That's some questions about the town's history. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. 
my pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. No, space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. Well, the raiders, for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really help keep the wolves at bay. Okay, I need to go. If you say so, honey. I'm tired. Well, you come on back any time you want to hear more. I have to go. Come back if you need something, honey. Kathy is tired and... She's going to find somewhere to just rest for the night.